In this lesson we're going to look at graphing fractions. Um, so the first example asks us to graph four sevenths. And notice first of all the graph is set up rather nicely for us. Um, because there's a seven on the bottom there we know that we need to divide up the space between zero and one into seven equal parts. And that's what we have. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And so this notch right here is really representing the number one seventh. This one here represents two sevenths and so on. And so if I want to graph four sevenths, I know that this is three sevenths, then this is four sevenths right here. So I just put a dot right on that spot. Moving down to this example, it asks us to graph 14 fifths. Now, it's kind of hard to think of improper fractions and where they fall exactly on the number line. So what I would suggest is if you are presented with an improper fraction and you're asked to graph it, uh, go ahead and turn that into a mixed number. So remember the way we do that is just to take the top, divide it by the bottom. So 5 goes into 14 twice. 2 times 5 is 10. So we have a remainder of 4. So that means that 14 fifths is equal to 2 and 4 fifths. 4 fifths, sorry. And so that becomes much easier to figure out how to, uh, how to graph this. So we go to 2, and then we go 4 fifths of the way to 3. So we can already see there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, tick marks from 2 to 3, and so uh, that means it's already divided into 5 equal parts for us, so 2 and 4 fifths would be 2 and 1 fifth, 2 fifths, 3 fifths, 4 fifths, so 2 and 4 fifths falls right there.